everybody, and welcome to Nurse Bunny Podcast. I'm your host, Eric De Silva. With me, as always, my co-host, Jose Romero. Greetings and salutations to all our beautiful nerds out there. Which means we're getting ready to cover and the rest of us ugly nerds. How about that? I mean, listen, that's <laughs> you identify how you identify. I don't care about any of that. It's perfectly that's fine. <laughs> but we have a very big week in geek to get into, man. Yeah, a lot of stuff. No, no, there's no main. Well, I guess there is kind of a main course, but not your usual main course. We usually, you know, dive into some kind of show, which has been kind of barren the last couple of weeks. But we're still waiting for Kenobi to drop. Eagerly anticipating a potential disaster of Kenobi. Or processing the, the, the Moon Knight Doctor Strange of it all. We're having a, a little bit of time just to kind of sure. ease the palate, yeah. cleanse it out. Yeah, cleanse and then, it out. Yeah, Kenobi, Miss Morrow, you mentioned. I forgot what's dropping during Kenobi. Season. Yeah. Uh, what do we got after that? We got Thor, The Boys. Forgot The Boys also dropping. It says The Boys, Miss Marvel, and Stranger Things, and Obi Wan. Within the yeah, weeks and then other, oh, right? oh, don't forget, you still got Black Adam coming in too. What's later? Talk about just just like this next month. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, as, far, right, yeah, okay. as far as that goes, yeah, I think that's four shows. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, so this last to dive into. And you yes, know what? I, yeah. Oh, I got I got I got to give a special shout out. I oh. recently stumbled across uh, the animated series, which I know they used to exist before, and it stopped. And I just got uh, was just uh, you remember this uh, cartoon called Young Justice. It's a DC animated yes. cartoon series. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're still going. Like, there's a fourth season going on right now as we speak. I thought that was so, it. I've been rewatching the old episodes because it's been forever since I've seen it. And I've been, and it's it's awesome. And it's the kind of thing where, like, it's what Titan should be. Titan should be a lot of things. <laughs> it's, I, how about Titan should just be good? Let's keep it simple, right? Listen, if, if you if you're like I I I, I live action superheroes, I just want cartoons. Young Justice on HBO Max, man, it cannot. It's a, it is it is like I'm watching it. And I'm like I'm like oh man, Titans should be canceled, and they should just put all that money into this show and make more of this. This is what we need. Uh, so uh, shout out to Young Justice as as a band aid series that's been going around helping nerds out through their dry spells. It's right there. Speaking of needing money, Marvel apparently in need of a, a GoFundMe for a future show dropping on that. We'll get to that. Oh, listen. In, in a minute. We'll get to that. Yeah, in a minute, yeah. all right. Let's hear. Okay. It's it's let's... embarrassing for Marvel stands, but we'll get to it all that goodness sure. down the road. Sure. But let's start with a little trailer here um, that dropped. We'll start with a small nugget and we'll build our way to the bigger nuggets, right? This small nugget, because this was like a teaser trailer. We talked about this before, and this, of course, is Prey. Um, yes. Of course, a film, uh, you know, which is coming out on, on Hulu. On Hulu, sorry. And, oh, I don't have it here. Let me adjust this a little bit, because I forgot to put you on the screen. That's not that anybody wants to see it. But what the hell? Hey. Um, just kidding. So that may happen with the rest of the screens. My, my apologies, folks. I'll get it worked out quickly. We jumped, <laughs> going anywhere. We jumped in the show really anywhere. fast. So I'm right, here. This. I'm right um, here. But yeah, so Prey came out. Um, uh, our beloved franchise, our, our famous ex. We keep getting back together and it, keep en- it keeps ending up a la Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Oh, sorry. Just hurting um, and, but again we keep, and but again. We keep going back at it and here we go again. Who's going to believe that you didn't like this? Who's yeah. going to believe you? Are you going to say you didn't like a Predator uh, version, spinoff, backend, reinterpretation, reboot? Who's going to believe you? Huh? Uh, huh? <laughs> Listen, so it didn't show a whole lot, right? We got some girl running in the woods and somebody else in the weeds and they're aiming at something with the bow and they got that infamous little three little, little dot thing. And it cuts off, right? Kind of giving you an idea, okay, it's Predator, but I just, I don't know. It's Hulu, man. Let, let's be honest. If this is a, a, a movie release, I'd be a little bit more optimistic. But Hulu's had some fun stuff, though. <sighs> It's had some fun stuff. And as far as Predator or the trailer? Oh, I'm talking about just shows in general. I'm I'm hoping that because they have some good shows on like legit like OG oh, 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 original I, I, shows. I, I, sorry, no, yeah, yeah, no shows that do well. So but, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm hoping that it at least is a certain standard. Because here's the thing, and 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 a lot of people may not know this is that uh, I believe Aliens and Predator, the rights are currently owned by Marvel. Oh, by by Disney. By Disney, so I mean, yeah, so right. I mean, you could if 
slowly integrate, you know, hey, listen, this is a certain standard we're doing for our show, so if we'll kind of keep it on this level. We really appreciate it. I mean, Bubba Fett aside, maybe we've learned that lesson. I'm hoping <laughs> that they're like, let's just Agreed. keep the eye on the ball on um, what this is supposed to be, and but on a standard that we're all cool with, you know? And this was a, a, a series, I'd be much more optimistic. Yeah, who knows good, good, good shows? They do, and they have some. Movie-wise, they haven't really done a whole lot. Um, I've seen a couple, and, and they're pretty bad. We're talking about below Netflix level when Netflix at its worst. Oof, okay. So it doesn't, I mean, this is a conscious decision to say we're making a new Predator film on Hulu. That that says a lot about the project, I think. But not right? call a Predator. But huh? not call a Predator. Well, not call a Predator. They're, they're trying to hide it. You know, they're putting the a dress in the pig, is, right? It's like, listen, okay, fine. <laughs> the balls is move is that it's not called Predator, but it is totally a Predator Same series. Same thing, right? Uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I just not nice. I can't get excited about that. Really. And again, I've been burned too many times. We talked about this. Uh, Terminator was another one that just continues, just keeps giving us heartache, a lot of diminishing heartache. returns. To, uh, to, heartache, to put yeah. it nice, yeah. To put it nicely. Um, oh, and, and, and Alien. So yeah, those are the three. The trifecta of damn again. So I, I don't know, man. I just it, it came out. It's a two second trailer. Let's be real. They didn't show shit. Fine. Right. I mean, but maybe what you're showing is like, hey, we're going to do like almost like a horror movie take on it where it's like it's one predator hunting a bunch of people. That's why it's called the prey. And, it, you know, so it's like almost like they're repositioning the predator to be like a Michael Myers and that kind of thing. And I, and I, I'd be kind of down for that to see I, how I that kind of play I mean, out. The first one was kind of like that. It's, you know, one versus... Right, but you were there because you guys need to one. fight back. So you're like, oh, right, right. But that's what made it interesting because right here is fighting against Indians, Native Americans, and I just, okay, it's not a fair fight. It's like, okay, really? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, Extreme hunters. I could, yeah. I kind of, I kind of like Dutch that. Dutch barely made it out. One of the all time greatest badasses. I just don't see a little girl doing it. I don't know. I just, it just something's off about the whole thing, but I'll watch it. I'm going to give it a shot. But all right. And we'll come back to the show and we'll talk about all the greatness that was not in this film. Um, <laughs> and let's let's stay on the subject of reboots and all that. Because it's another one that came down the pipeline. All so right. Apparently, and I got to adjust you again. I probably didn't do my pre-work earlier today. My apologies. Uh, and that's a reboot coming our way for the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. The classic Sean Connery film. Okay, wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Put some respect <laughs> in your mouth when you mention this. Please, because say this League of Extraordinary, the comic book no, is no, no, no. no that, that's, just, that's fine. I, I, I'm going to argue that. Just the movie itself. Is, oh, no, the movie is hot garbage. That, that's what I'm Absolutely. saying. That, that's, okay. what I'm, right. that's what I'm referring to. I was getting to. a little bit like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, okay, just, cool. just about All the right. film, the disaster. That movie was awful. Yeah, the movie so, was bad. It was yes. so bad. And it's funny because I, I was reading about the story. I remember what Sean Connery turned down. Uh, Gandalf. The Matrix. Oh, he turned down Gandalf. For, I thought he turned on the Matrix. No, no he done before, but if he, but I, I was I was 1999. This came out after, but okay. he had a uh, he was awful Gandalf, and he turned that down because he wanted to do this movie. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. And may rest in peace, the great, uh, of course, Sean Connery. Um, but yeah, it so would, you know, re- it, but I gotta tell you, if that is true. Man, I would have loved to hear Sean, like Gandalf going, you're Sean of Tosh. Oh, come on. Be, how awesome would that have been, right? Uh, <laughs> amazing for Christ. I would have changed Gandalf, would have... I don't know if I'm strong enough to destroy the ring. <laughs> Losers don't know if they're strong enough. <laughs> we just go and fuck the problem for you. <laughs> oh, man. The fact you just put Nicholas Cage as Frodo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have that to recast. That would have been the greatest <laughs> trilogy of all, all, of all time. All, all, the ring, all the rings. All of it. Us doing it. Bam. Killing uh, it. <laughs> I tell you. So, I mean, listen. I I like the idea of the reboot because this movie is good source material here. We know that, right? It's a cool Absolutely. concept. The comic is great. And it just, okay, great. Bring us another one. But, huge but here. As I mentioned before in a prior story, much like Prey, this is also not a series of movie going straight to Hulu. Ah. <sighs> I can just kill the, t- the air out of the balloon. That is a... If you so will. is it wait, so is it a movie or is it a series? It's a movie. It's a Not movie. A se- again, if it's a series, I'd be again. I welcome as a series. You know what I mean? You're, I welcome you're, that you're on Hulu. Or any any. I mean more. that should really be done as a series, man. It, it should Correct. be done as a series. They should look. Agreed. Honestly, League of a Story, gentlemen, as an HBO series, in terms oh. of like the quality, or the like what they're willing to go for, that would be. Or the boys, you have to be in that part. Like, but you have to be willing to go there. 
Sure. And you can do League of Story Gentlemen, and it would be a juggernaut. Be great. Oh this, is, this is this is dark material in here, right? There really is. Super dark um, material. And I think, yeah, you're right. HBO, Amazon would be prime, no, no pun intended, for that. Um, well, anybody, almost, anybody, Netflix, they all would. Sure. But again, Hulu, I don't know, man. It's a movie, right? So, oh, God. I don't want to just go straight to Hulu. Nobody cares about Hulu, for Christ's sake. Let's be clear. Uh, but you know what is crazy? And I listen, like Hulu. I'm just kidding. Uh, like let Hulu. me just say right now, we are not sponsored by Hulu. But oh, if we not. were, <laughs> we would... Hulu has an amazing lineup of shows and movies. They let's do. Just, I guess I'm just joking. They got good stuff. They do. They do. If you just don't think about it as a major player. No, in, I not, mean... In comparison to a, you know, the you Netflix You can very easily Apple. forget that all, every episode of Archer and Family Guy... And it's always sunny in Philadelphia and Letter Kenny. They're all there. Like it's like it, this is comedy. So just it's just all it's Hulu a deep stuff, well. Right. Yeah. But you're right. They haven't Hulu has not had that signature series that people go, Oh man, you gotta get Hulu for this. Right, exactly. And obviously this is not gonna be it. But yeah, so what a shame, man. What is this? Can you make a movie, man? Can you just release it? God, you can put it on Hulu after for Christ's sake. I mean, come on, I mean. Nerf I mean, real max. That, that shit doesn't work, you know. And even I mean, like I said, they're, they're changing the minds on looks like it for Batgirl. We talked about right. that, which makes sense. So, but yeah. it's also a Batman related IP, so it's got a lot of clout. Well, listen, it's got, you know. listen, which I get, I know, but League's been a long time ago. The new generation probably has no idea about that film. No and, idea. And they shouldn't. Which is and that's a good thing, right? So, I think they should. It's like nine eleven. They need to know what happened. They don't have a friend. You can read they about it somewhere. They need to know. It's part uh, of their history. But there's enough time has passed. Okay, you can watch. We, that's been washed out, right? For the most part, it's um, critical nerd theory. All right, yeah, Seriously, <laughs> get it right. <laughs> so yeah, what a, what a shame, man. What what that, that's I don't know, I don't know. But I do have a reboot which could work. What's that? And that is the potential reboot here from Universal of Dark Man. Of course, the Sam Raimi classic. Oh yeah, I love Dark. I mean, Dark Man was just. The 1990, I don't know, not early 90, mid 90s. I saw it in the theaters. Like I one of the too. first yeah. movies I got to see on my own. Like, I was like, I'm going to go see him. I'm going to pay money and go to a movie theater <laughs> by myself on a Saturday, sir. I say good day. Like, it was, that was it. Yeah. Yeah, this one was kind of just classic Raimi camp. Oh, yeah. Great oh. at the same time, right? And, and this movie is begging for reboot, right? Because, again, it's dated. We know that. It wasn't a big budget film. Give us some budget. You know, it's two thousand twenty CGI. It's like, it's like, a, it's, like a, a, it's like if the shadow met uh, a mad scientist. Yeah. That's the best way to, but like, it's the shadow, the old nineteen twenties forties radio, mm -hmm. the shadow. But now he's a deformed mad scientist as well, so he's still fighting the bad guys, you know, the criminals and everything. But he's a little bit, uh, and so you oh, know, he's like, yeah. he's and he can, yeah, he can, because of his brain damage, he can flap the handle and be just as bad as the guy she's going after because he can't control his temper because he's got. I mean, there's a lot of. I think really it's the because cool. he, he, he doesn't feel anything. Is like his nerve endings all shot. He got burned up, and I think uh, right. So there's just an adrenaline rush that kicks in, and obviously yeah. the adrenaline makes you stronger. You can't control right. it. Right. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's such a good, it's a. It holds up for the most part, you know. If you open yourself open, if you leave it is open to the idea of it, but you know? it's not great. It's, it's not great. rewatchable. No, it's, 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 it's not great. Oh, but if you're not. a Sam Remy fan, then it's beautiful yes. to see like right. what proto Spider Man was going to come from. Was a lot right. of that. You you a lot of that. Yeah, a lot of that there. Yeah. Vintage stuff that used to from Remy. It's all in this film, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, but it's begging for a reboot. He uh, they asked Remy about it. Said so Universal's already talking about it. I don't think Remy is going to be involved in the project. But that's fine. You might produce. It's potentially, but I think they have a director already or something or a writer, something like along those lines. It's still in the early stages, but it looks like it's moving forward. This is a, now this is a reboot that's going to go to theaters, as far as I as far as I know, unless they're going to fucking dump it on Peacock or some bullshit. Which speaking of reboots, did you hear something about Peter Dinklage as the Toxic Avenger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You didn't hear, you know about that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's I, I heard about that a couple of years back. I that one's actually coming out soon. I Thing. That's what the that's what I heard. Yeah. That's what I gave. I was like, yeah. hey, you're and I was like, Peter, you mean Game of Thrones? Peter, yeah, no, Game of Thrones, yeah, so the, yeah. That's a reboot that nobody's talking about, but apparently it's been in production for like, yeah, yeah it's been. It's, I think it's this year. I heard about that a couple of years back. Yeah, it's a. I mean, Peter Dinklage doesn't exactly. I don't know. It's weird as casting. I, I think it's. I'm not. I'm not sure if he's playing the Toxic Avenger or a different character. I don't remember. He might be the Toxic 
Avenger character. I don't know. And just need choice. I'm I kind mean, of, I'm kind of cool with that. I'm, I'm kind okay of, with I'm, that. I, yeah. You know, again, that's another one that's, I mean, that way was bad back then. <laughs> Darkman was actually decent, but whatever. It's, again, bang. Darkman v. Toxic Avenger. It is better than Batman v. Superman. That's the idea. Darkman v. Toxic Avenger. There, there's your, there, there's your, there's your cinematic universe. There. That's what you want right there. I think those would be better than Prey. Um, <laughs> but that's interesting. So there's three reboots, one out of three. I, I, I can live with that. That's 33% fine, uh, you know, and hopefully, you know, uh, I really want, I, I, out of the three, would, if you could pick one, if they're all being released in theater, which one would be the one to watch? Prey, Darkman, or The League? Off my affinity for the motion property, I go, I go for Darkman, but depending on the casting, I would go for League. I would go for but, League. I'll go for League, yeah, because I think under the right hand, i.e., director, I think oh, yeah. there's something really good there, right? Especially in oh, these yeah. days, of the you know, you know, the, the modern world of superhero movies, just a lot to dive into here, you know. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah, yeah. So I, by by by, slightest some margins, like Dark will be right there, Prey will be delete. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> if you told me Jeez. that uh, the uh, for, I'm forgetting the dude's name, he was on Lost and he did the Watchmen series for HBO. Oh, okay. Then. Right. You know. Yes. Yeah. Him, him on the league. Oh, forget, forget about it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Great. Agree. The only, the only thing that changed my mind is if Raimi actually did Darkman. Then that might sway me to Darkman. If he was, in, he was the director of it, right, and involved, I may lean towards that potentially. Raimi, what if what Raimi if, with a budget? We seen Raimi with the budget, right? Right. It's good stuff. So, meh, what if? What if it was Raimi, producer, cinematographer, director, whoever else? So you're still going to get those Raimi cuts. You're still going to get that oh, aesthetic, but it's going to be someone else bringing out the, the, the actual acting and the act and the fight sequences. I guess I have to see. Who, I have to know who your director is. Fair. Now. But I'll say this before we get to the next story. Darkman can't be Liam Neeson. He's too old. Right, he's gonna, no, of course not. Yeah, this no. is this is before he got his skills, and now he's doing other right. stuff. I get it. Yeah. Uh huh. The Rock is dark, man. It's sold. I'm done. All right. No. Nope. Next story. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, no. I'm just fucking. I'm no. just fucking. <laughs> you know I'm who? Just, I, you know who that, that would you, never work. I'm just fucking. You know who I think would be a really good dark man? Uh, but you gotta you gotta treat him as an actor and not as the name he is. Don't say Colin that, Farrell. Colin you know Farrell. Colin Farrell, I think, yes, agreed. As Dark Man? Uh, absolutely. Man. Yeah. yeah. And, absolutely. He, and he could still keep his OG Irish accent, which is great. Yeah. No, can, you're right. He could sound like Liam Neeson. In, in a, that, <laughs> but you know have him yeah. bring his child, like, make him bring, like, make him bring a uh, true detective penguin out. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the, the birds. Bring no. that Colin Farrell out. Colin and Farrell, you're gonna have 10 years has been great. So absolutely. I'm, all, absolutely. Yeah, I'm all for it. That's actually a very good, a good, a good one there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, next one. Next one. So all this right. is an interesting one. This one dropped out. I think it was today. So for all the comic book nerds out there, this is about Stan Lee, oh, yeah. who a deal was made with the estate uh, with Disney. I guess Disney now has acquired the licensing rights uh, for Stan Lee. They can use his uh, likeness. likeness, his name, et cetera, et cetera, for whatever they choose to do, whether it be something, you know, sell merchandise at Disney or whatever the case is, there's also potential that they could bring him back as a digital, in digital form, right? obviously, in, in the MCU as he was doing his cameos for so many years. And that's, a, I guess, a way to reintroduce him that way. But um, so it's interesting because I, I, I kind of forget about how much money to pay for that shit. Um, but that being said, because the whole thing with the digital thing, I, I, I don't know if I like that, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not saying that's what they're going to do. That was just, that, they, they kind of just mentioned it as a possibility. Sure. But uh -huh. do you do, what do you want to see? I'll, I'll, like, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, yes, family? I'll tell you, yes. And I'll tell you how, how I would want to see it. You don't see him as a person anymore. He's not a person. He is. Now, like somebody that they always put in the background on like the TV when the the reporters reporting on the thing, you would see him almost like a like a like a where's Waldo in the background of things. I would have him like that, or or you save it up for the Secret Wars movie. 
And when all seems lost, they revealed that Mr. Fantastic has made it to the most highest of cosmic beings, the one above all. The one above all is the one who's created the multiverse. It is it is their version of God. The one above all that all their gods bow down to. One above all. And that's Stanley. As a CGI Stanley. As a CGI Stanley, he is the one above all. Because it's all under his... It, it whether makes, he created all of it sense. or not, he's he sold the idea. Because of Stanley is why we believe there is a Marvel Universe. So he sold us on what Marvel was. If, if that's and, the only thing they would do, it's just that I can live with that. But if it's gonna be every movie, I, I just it's weird. I don't want to see a. I don't know. This is I mean, it's in either that he's passed on. Just you can put him on a poster or mention his name now. It's either that or they go whatever. full on insane. Be John Malkovich, where his face is on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Still holding up things that I can live with that. Uh, no, that's the, the digitized version. I, it's just creepy. It's weird. First of all, the, the CGI thing doesn't always work. That Uncanny Valley is there, and we'll talk yes. more about that a little bit later. Uh, going back <laughs> to the Marvel needs a lot of money, apparently. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's odd. It, I don't know. I, I guess I don't know what they're going. They just it just they haven't mentioned it right now. They, it's possible. I mean, they are going to do that. You know, they're gonna do it. But I got a feeling we'll probably they might. I think I got a feeling they may try just to see what kind of reaction they get. If people may say, eh, I don't know. I, I can definitely see people in the fence about this. I mean, I, I, this, it's weird. It just is. <laughs> I kind of want to see an animatronic Stan Lee in the Hall of Presidents. It's called Excelsior. Oh, that, 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 that's, that's different. That's cool. That, that's a different situation. <laughs> and I'm sure they'll probably put them in somewhere. They will do tomorrow. And here's, um, you know, but which I'm sure they, you know, they're going to do something like that. I, there's no question. I, I think that will start. It will start there before they do anything else. I would assume. Uh, maybe some shirts, you know, merchandise, just, you know, whatever. Money. Um, so that's interesting. So let, let's see. I'm kind of curious wh who, when will I, I, I'd be shocked if they don't even try it. <laughs> I really would. <laughs> we even made one of the shows or just something. Maybe they'll just do a quick little snippet with like a CGI version and see what, what kind of, if, see what like, kind of reaction pops, you know, say, ah, it's not a good deal. What if a hundred years from now, Stan Lee becomes the Colonel Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> well, th that would suck because we'll be dead by then. So I, we, I, we won't even know about I, it. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. But I'm like, just like people going, oh yeah, it's uh, it's the it's the it's the Marvel Stan Lee guy. And he goes, what's the story behind him? Like, I don't know. I heard that he used to be a real general. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Popeye's chicken though. Um, <laughs> but let's stay with Marvel because we got a big and the big trailer. Uh, I didn't think this was coming out anytime soon, but I guess... Surprised all of us. Surprised, but though, it's funny because uh, I was going to mention that about the, the release date because they uh, the UK, they put something at Disney Plus UK and they actually put this on there or like as far as like an advertisement release, they have it with the date release of it, right? In August. And then they took it down. But it was too late. You know how it is. It's it's out there. So, I kind and of I, and feel... I, and I think they forced the hand to drop a trailer now, which is fine. I, I, deal. I, I kind of feel that is the... the, the now that yeah. the, the cat's out of the bag. Right. It's like, let's okay, just let's just do it. Deal right. with it. Yeah, I got a feeling. Because it's, it's kind of early for a trailer that comes out. Usually, it's something we'll, we'll start getting towards the end of Miss Marvel, right? Like it did. It, like, should, you know, it, yeah. it would be, it would be at, the, at the very earliest, the end of June. Correct. Yes, correct. Get, at the us, very yeah. earliest. If, it's early. If, if Marvel would have kept pace, you would start to see something maybe early July. Mid-July would be the, the, the latest because you want to get like some well, months. Late, late, yeah, but we are around there when that's right, kind of we, we, we see seeing the trailers pop like towards the end of whatever show goes on. I think that because of this is the why so many people are complaining like a, like a bunch of little children who don't really understand how Christmas works. That, ah... Uh, Marvel needs money, apparently. Burr, burr, burr. I'm like, uh, they kind of have to deal with this because people leak stuff out, and it, it, they're like, let's just get it out of the way, and we'll improve it as it goes along. Because, as you've name dropped a million times in like less than 20 minutes, that there is an issue with the graphics, the uncanny valiness of the main yeah. protagonist I got of the news show. For you. I got news for you, source. That's not getting better. That's what we're gonna get in the show. So oh don't, really? Don't don't expect that to change. Um, I thought if they gave it like a little bit, like yeah, you know, just that, a little that's bit. That's kind of where we're at. And and let's just talk about it's a big this the elephant in the room first, because dude, that it looks doesn't look bad. It looks fucking awful. So, it looks no, ridiculous. Some, some of it 
looks bad. good. No, her, and then her. some of it looks bad. Some and of look, it looks I mean, good. Some of it was like, oh, wow, that actually looks real steady. No, it looks, it all looks terrible. It, it, I, don't, I, I don't know what the deal is. It's surprising because the Hulk looks fine. Because the Hulk is already a pre-established. Is established, but still, listen, well, Abomination, look, uh, two seconds. Pre-established too, look, 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 But it looked awful. It looked really, really bad. Like I was getting texts and I was like, I, I, I saw it late. I'm like, can't, can't be that bad. I'm like, God, it's worse than that. They told me it was. Uh, you know um, what? I got to tell you, like the awful. the back end of the trailer, awful. the graphics looked better than the front end, end of the trailer. Like, like honestly, like I'm, 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 I've, I've seen, I think I, I really was like, I want to take this in. So I watched it. And the first time I, I took it in, I got to tell you, I was like, are, there, are those graphics bad or am I not just viewing no, this bad. properly? And then I was watching it. I was like, okay, well, that looks so better. I, no. But at the same time, the thing that kept hitting me was like, this is really funny. Like, it's very comedically well timed out. I was like, oh, like, this is really funny. Why does it look, look that way? This is kind of funny. Why does it look that way? And then other times <laughs> I was like, okay, that actually looks good. Like, the, it's, it's, yeah, the, yeah and it's, it's taking you away from it, right? It, you kind of, because like, it just, and, and, I, and, I, and I think because they're using, because like, again, with the, with the She-Hulk, you know, with, with Hulk, with Bruce Banner, it's, he's big, huge, and it's not really him, right? With her, it's just... Almost she's like, a know, little like, bit bigger. A little bit bigger. It's not, she's not exaggerating. Right, like, so like, be in so, real life... They're using her face, and it's just, that, that's, that doesn't work. It just, ugh. Motion I capture, whatever just, whatever they're doing, which is why, what they which, is why what, which is why it's not getting better, because it's just motion capture. What it's they nice should have the done, eye. what they should have done is had... She Hulk introduced in a teaser, so they would have given her movie quality graphic, and they would have used that as a template to go do the series with. That's what they should have done. It's oh, you know, like right. before they show yeah. right? Because that's why Hulk looks so good is because he's oh, yeah. coming Hulk, in yeah, Hulk. with pre-established. They have like sure. six ye- uh, yeah, years, sixteen it's, years. It's cheaper once his own, the designs there, right? Guess, exactly. Yeah, it's like we just sure. slotted, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so they should enough. have had uh, her appear in a movie. Like an after credit, whatever, something, just enough so they could maybe funnel a little bit of that budget to improving yeah, her graphics. That would have been the smart thing yeah, to do. It's just, I mean, it's just Disney, right? It's just a Mansquito on, you know, sci-fi channel, for Christ's sake. So we expect a little bit more from Marvel. That's what I'm saying, right? Expectation is there. Because the other shows, I mean, that CJ hasn't been perfect. Even when it has some issues, but for the most part, right. really good. Really well done. But yeah, so I just I just couldn't get away from that man, and the trailer See, itself is uh, it's fine, uh, I, it, it's funny looking. I was like Alec McBeal, and I, I wasn't a fan of the show, but that's basically what it is. It's fine. I I I, I once again, the I was pleasantly surprised on how the show was very faithful to what She Hulk is in the comic mm-hmm. books, and I I, I got I got to say that it's making me really upset that there's so many people who barely know anything about She-Hulk, and they're like, oh, I'm surprised you're doing this take on her. Usually, uh, <laughs> Hulks are sad, or like, oh, that's they're really leaning into the sexy. What's oh, wrong? Dang. That's all who she... Like, right. she, she, she used to bang dudes and kick her out of her bed like a G since the 70s. <laughs> Fuck you for not knowing how badass She-Hulk is. She-Hulk <laughs> fucked the juggernaut and said, don't tell anybody. Like, that is She-Hulk to a T. I loves this character she's she's so funny and she comments that you saw her commenting about like you know superheroes are, are more for uh uh, uh, uh like uh, orphans and uh, and sad neurotic billionaires and i'm like that's a really funny commentary on the superhero genre and that's what she looks always done she the she she hulk was deadpool for people in the late 70s early 80s because she broke the fourth wall she commented on the industry it was all very much like you know this is ridiculous, and I have to live here. So sure. fuck you. We're gonna deal with this. <laughs> so, I, 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 and so it's the scene that it has those elements to the point where she's on all those dates. I was like, yeah, she Hulk, she Hulk is a, is a big pun. She's not a player. She just crushed a lot. Listen, because <laughs> she's a superhero, she'll crush you into nothing. So, like, yeah, you know, yeah, listen, like, that bad CG aside, it trade looks fine. I'm not saying it looked great. It just it looked like fluff Marvel show. You know, like, like I don't think it's gonna be good as Moon Knight, right? In that I, you know, I think I think it, it's going to be different, but I think it could but, be just as good as Moon Knight, just different, like because Moon Knight statement. very um, Moon Knight very psychological, uh, dealing with this associated with identity disorder. It is and very this is more about a woman figuring out who she is in a place where she never felt completely allowed to be herself in the first place. Now she has to rediscover who she really is 
in that same context. So different show, but in terms of like quality, in terms of like the writing being on point, the acting being on point, I, mean, I feel like it's fine. It just listen at the end of the day, that's CGI. That's that show's already at a six. It's it it is it is an uphill battle. It's, and that's right. And it's just like because it just it just but, it takes you away from the show you're watching. Because it, I didn't realize she was, the, you know, I didn't know much about her. She Hulk, right? Um, so I didn't know she was very conscientious, uh, conscientious of who she is as She Hulk, right? It's not like the original in the Hulk, beginning, original it's Hulk, just, Hulk, just Hulk, Hulk, Hulk you Smash remember. and all that here. Yeah, you know, he, she's Hulk, intellectual. She her she mind is still there, the, right? She has the Hulk temper, but she retains her personality, unlike the Hulk, because in the comics, the reason why she becomes a Hulk is because she gets injured in the comics through mobsters. The thing in the TV show that may show it's a car accident, maybe it is mobsters. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But she gets a blood transfusion from Bruce mm-hmm. Banner. And because it's a blood and not explosive, she gets the Hulk powers, but she could turn human or she Hulk. And when she goes into Hulk form, she has her, her, her personality that she does have a little bit of a rage issue, never as much as the Hulk, even though in the recently she went full rage where she got like super jacked and had no mind was gray for a hot minute, went back to green. She just went back to the she Hulk you saw on the TV show now because synergy so uh <laughs> but like uh like so they, i they're, i think they were kind of teasing like elements you could do later for like the rage when Hulk's like yes yes and she breaks it like no no like so she's got that rage issue stuff um but like it, it's it's very much like her she becomes because of being the hulk it's almost like her id unleashed it's like going from peter parker to tony stark right you know so like and then her to figure out like man i gotta level things out but I I think I'm hoping, and you, you said you have better context than uh, than I do. You're saying that this is what it is, and we got to just deal with it. I'd like to believe that as the series goes on, it becomes more like the be- the second half of the trailer, which more like you see her face looks really really well done, as opposed to the first half, which looks like her face was being put on. You know what I mean? It, lo- it looked bad the whole time. I I don't think it looked be- got better as the trailer got on. Just it looked. I thought to me, like, I, it looked, I, I, to I me, disagree. looked even. I thought it looked worse because they gave it more clue. It's just it's an uncanny valley. You just there's no way to fix it. It's like there's they, only they, one shot in the in the back end that I didn't like. It's when she's scrolling through Twitter, Twitter, and she's always like, "Oh my god!" But it almost looked a little too cartoony. Oh yeah, that in her looked, reaction. That bad, yeah, that, yeah, was, you know, that yeah. I didn't like. But like when she's on her dates or when she's talking to her friend, I'm like, "That looks cool. I actually like yeah, that." It's just so cause it's hard to fix that because again, it's not they just especially with emotion, the un- uncanny. They're, they're trying to make her look like her human counterpart, and as humans, we're just attached to it, and it, it just doesn't look right. It was different with Bruce. Do Banner, you think? You know? Do you think it would have been better? If they hired a body double that was super jack lady body double, and then they put her face on like almost like a like a Luke Skywalker, where her face is done there and she's doing that, like that's what. I, no matter, I think it's always gonna look a little bit off, right? Because um, she still looks. She's just she's like a, a a woman who works out. She's painted green, right? So she looks very right. realistic, very human like. So it's hard to right. disassociate yes. that as you're watching it. But Hulk is a big beast. Okay, it can look right. cartoony or Thanos. It can look cartoony because he's a beast. Whatever it is, what it is, right? With her, it's just different. I, I didn't realize she'd be that human looking, right? Um, I think that's a problem with doing that CG. It's just different to do that, right? I, I think I think our, your your the eyes just have to get used to it. I think it's an adjustment yeah. uh, because we're not used to seeing like that. And, I, and I'll say sure. this too: it's possible. Big difference too. I've noticed men who watch this. A lot of dudes are like, "Oh, that doesn't look right," and they're very dismissive. Every female nerd that has watched this that I know has loved the trailer. Well, and the, I was like, "The trailer's not bad." The but wait, 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 wait. But what, what I'm saying is, I think this is a a big difference on the, of like how men and women, even in a nerddom, you know, or we all mutually agree on stuff uh, for the most part, uh, have the difference where if a girl looks a little off, we're like, "Oh, this is horrible," and if and a girl. Can watch the same thing and he goes i appreciate all this because i usually bang dudes who look horrible so i can look past the looks and appreciate the show for what it is and i'm like i feel worse as a nerd knowing that women can bypass <laughs> looks to appreciate the character of the show and most male nerds like oh it's one degree off i don't like man it's very bad it's good me <laughs> so it's very strange i noticed that um, I, did, I do have a question about the trailer though um sure. a couple things up that, that i that popped up into my head first one start with abomination right because we saw sure. abomination in shang chi did we not no. right so i guess just 
because it goes in line with like we'll, we'll stick with Shang Chi. At the end of Shang Chi, we see the, the end credit scene. We see you know Bruce Banner as himself with the you know the right. cast. But here he's back to full Hulk. Full Hulk. So I'm, timeline, like you know, what I'm saying I'm questioning, like okay, when is it actually could have been like six months, take, six months like, after Shang Chi, take, oh, after or before? After I think I think so. This, you think this, the, this, so you think it's after? So he, he went back from whatever Hulk, whatever. Yeah, like whatever yeah, I feel like he's that. just fully recovered now like two three life, years though. after endgame from, from the damage he got in end, in endgame from the snap right but, but what has to do with like him being the hulk i thought he was like permanent hulk no no he could change back if he wanted to he just preferred to stay in that in that in that form I he, which is why you saw him I normal thought, I, thought and, he, I thought he thought he did something to where he that's the way he no is he now. figured out a way to combine mm-hmm to combine the mind and the body, the Hulk, like he talked at Endgame. So he just figured, I'm so he here, can, I'm so good. So he can change back at any point. Okay. Sure. I feel like he could change back, but he, and yeah. he probably did to to allow the last part of the healing to go through. That's I think that's what happened. Like He had to go back to human to let the last part heal through, and then when he morphed back in the Hulk, I, he's I, I, back. I, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's so I'm just kind of curious. When does this take place within the scope of the timeline with MC? Who knows? So I, I just, okay, so I guess they captured... Abomination after I don't know. He's like he's pretty good friends with Wong, so. Um, well, he's been captured since the, the Incredible Hulk. That's when Abomination got captured. No, right, but I'm saying he wasn't captured in Shang Chi. Abomination, yeah. I think he was like a, almost like on like a, if for lack of a better term, like a Suicide Squad mission. Like he sent, they put Wong in as like a favor to the government or whatever, so you can go and they said you need. Your, yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna be a thing where he was like, "We need to your your cover okay. is that you're friends with the Abomination." So like, okay, cool. Like, who, you know, this guy destroyed half of half of Harlem. So if you're gonna if you're coming in with this guy, you're must be a piece of piece of garbage. You're in. So I think it was one of those like cover stories. Yeah, that's odd. But okay. It just it, that that doesn't, it doesn't well. Work. We're gonna find out. I mean, we're gonna find out. Well, you know, I can oh, be I totally know. off. They may not even mention it. To be honest with you, I don't think they're even gonna. I think so, because they said Benedict Wong is going to be in the series. He's guest appearing in one of the episodes. Oh, is he? Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Okay. Well, then so maybe they, that's they, 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 okay. I also, then maybe do a connection. Charlie, right. okay. There's a rumor that Charlie Cox or Matt Murdock is going to be in the series as well. Which makes sense. The so attorney angle. There's, yeah. there's, a, there's, a, there's a bunch of cameos that's going to okay. be in here as well. So I'm kind of excited about that. All right. Fair enough. Well, let's see. I, well, August. It's a ways from now. This is, the, the trailer was too early. But yeah, it is what it is. They messed up. Oh, what are you gonna do? Uh, Disney's one unfair. more layer, one more rendition, Marvel. Just, just run one figure, more rendition. Figure something out. Um, so figure something out. Um, so last thing here, let me adjust you again. And this is a this, this is a main course, right? Because it's Star Wars, and every so often we give it main course treatment. But this is a big one here because we get this this huge article. Well, not huge, but a big article. Huge. On, uh, it's a huge article on Vanity Fair. You know, talking about essentially the state of star wars right before during productions kathleen kennedy etc cetera, etc cetera, what's coming down the pipeline they pretty much touch on a lot of things so i want to start with this first before we get any further because you know we we had talked about the, this um hibernating individual if you will and that's of course john watts who was exhausted shall we say he was tired very tired. He was uh he was in his Rim Van Winkle kind of vibes. Like I'm gonna rest for like Helms fifty years. The right? entire Spider Man trilogy, the home trilogy, and he needed a break. He needed a break from from big budget stuff. His, needed his his words. Very hard. And so he dropped out of, of course, Fantastic Four. Course. We knew that was nonsense, which and it ends up being nonsense. Like we knew it was it, that that wasn't the reason, right? What do you mean? Yeah. What what have you heard? Uh, so and now we we don't. It's funny because we thought maybe John Krasinski was going to be tapped. They haven't said anything about that either. So I'm, I'm wondering right. whether that's really the case. And I'm thinking this guy he just backed out, and I don't know. I just I'm kind of curious on, well, on that think, side of it, think... but. I think D23, you'll find out more about that. Either that or San Diego, because both of them are coming up. So you got to oh, get yeah. some time. Uh, yeah, I just figured they're, they're not because they're doing the hype with Doctor Strange. If it's John, no, if he no, John it, was involved, it, why not just go ahead and announce it? But it I was gonna be, it's going to be a major convention exclusive that they're going to announce it. It's they, they're going to make a deal. Probably, it. but either way, so John West comes out, and I guess he woke up, you know, he has hit on snooze, and then lo and behold, he's involved in a big project. Of course, he is in a future Star Wars series. So essentially, he. Turned his nose to Kevin Feige and wrapped his arms around the great Kathleen Kennedy. Do you feel like that was his compensation prize? Like, listen, we got to take you off of Fantastic Four. But if you like super science, how would you like 
a Star Wars project. I, I, I it, don't know if this is because it seems like he's something he wanted to do. And I, I, I listen, if this if he was doing the we should talked about last week, if he was doing the Kevin Feige produced film, then okay, that would be oh listen, do this film and free. But no, he's doing a series completely unrelated to anything that Kevin Feige's doing. So I don't know if that's something that I don't know. He was offered that and he's like, I'm out. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, it's hard to tell, but we knew. We, we now is confirmed, which we already knew. We told you guys. It just had nothing to do with him being tired. Not, he just, we had something else. Let's just be clear. Creative differences, whatever you fucking want to call it. It's nonsense. So now he's doing a Star Wars show, which, well, listen, I'm cool with. You know, I like John Watts. He did a good, good job with Spider Man. I know you, you're a big fan of those movies. So, big fan. That's a good thing. So, interesting. All of a sudden, all this stuff starts coming out. So, again, that's all. Listen. You know the the, the, the the what's exactly specifically what he's working on, but you know, in terms of what kind of story, but he's doing something with Star Wars. I heard it's it's going to be like almost like a a, a a a breakfast club for Star Wars. It's like four kids who get into an adventure, very ambling entertainment you're kind correct. of. Correct. No, you're right. Yeah, they put the specifics. I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, right. And he talked about it being done at the same time as kind of Mandalorian, I guess a few years after Return right, yeah. of like Jedi. Five, yeah. ten years after right. after Jedi. Yes, correct. You're right and about that. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I mean, if anyone's going to do that kind of that, that kind of show for, for Star Wars, I kind of want John Watts in it because no, he knows right. how to hit those tones. No, I like it. So, uh, my concern is going to do with him. It's just... Again, we're stuck in this zone of okay. God forbid we branch out to anything different in a galaxy far, far I away. I mean, right? they are they are doing things different, but they're just not going that far ahead. Well, yet. they're not going anywhere. They're not going ahead. They're not going even far back. They just same timeline. I just the, look the fact that 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 so many characters are now so much of Star Wars is now characters loosely related to Luke Skywalker is a huge improvement. No, we've that, done no. Skywalker. Now let's go we don't want no further relation up. To That's what I'm saying. I just want to get out of this. But like Mando, Mando didn't get any relation to Skywalker until no. the end of season two. Right, but, but they couldn't help themselves. So, they just they had to introduce it. And here we go. Now it's, I feel like Mandalorian was his own thing. Now it just feels like it's part of everything else. And I love Mandalorian. Don't get me wrong. But I just I just Star Wars in a whole. Can we just get out of this box that they're in? You just can we? And I know if I get talked about it, or it's a writer doing something different. I believe when I at this point, I'll believe it when I see it. Because they keep giving us, okay, here's the Andor show, which they talked about Andor, right? They talked about show that show. And which, that's also not uh, but, Skywalker but it's, related. But it's so. not, but it's still part of the same world, the same planet. It's going to be the same people, the same empire. We, we've seen this, right? We know it. Listen, this Andor, guess what? He dies. We know that. It's not a mystery here. It's, it, it's not new, right? We know what's going on. Okay, we got Luke again somewhere else. Ah- Ahsoka again. Cool. Show's going to be good, I hope. But still, it's same old, same old, right? Characters we've seen before. Uh, yes and no. We've seen because, like I said, we're... No, no, Ahsoka, it's, it's, it's yes, we've seen her. She's a character from a previous we, we show. Saw her, we saw her twice. No, but, but, twice. Thanks, but, but she's but she's been she's an established character in this universe, right? If you're a Star Wars fan. Barely. You know. Because but, mostly but, animated, not well, movies. Fine, this is something about, really about, kind of bring her real estate okay, up. Okay, so let's go from barely to none. Can we do that? Can we use a character that's got no appearances in Star Wars? No references in Star Wars? That's what I want to see. If it's one episode, guess what? He's in the Star Wars current universe that we know and grown to love. I just, yes. I want to move away from that. Ahsoka is an established character. She's a popular character. She's like, listen, Boba Fett was that. He had 10 minutes of screen time. He's the greatest thing of all time, right? It just, so it, I don't want to hear that. It's just one scene. It doesn't matter. He's an established character. Oh, we've seen already. We know already. We're going back. Okay. Dude, I want to move you know away. What? I want to get Even Obi-Wan, I, I hope it's great, but it's okay. It's same old, same old, right? I get yes it. It's, no. I mean, listen. I, I I'm, I, I'm of the mind of, as, as long as you have a, a real story to tell and not an obligation, I'm there. But I want a story. I want a story about this character. Like this character. Sure. But, but, but again, there. but we know what happens with these characters, and then that's that's the other problem with. Except people. for Mando, we don't know what happens. We don't. To Mando. No, I'll give you that. At some and point. also, because Ahsoka's here right now, we don't know what happens to Ahsoka. I wouldn't thought Ahsoka was dead until we saw her in Mando. So. Because we're like, there's no way. Well, guess what? She should be in space, I think, or she's dead. I, that's all I know. She so, might as well be because she's not that important in as far as ever said the future of the Star Wars world. God forbid, here I comes think a, a new empire, and she's like, I'm just gonna sit back. I don't think so. So again, I mean, she's that, that, probably doesn't, dead that doesn't hold any water. At this point, she's probably dead at that point because not that far. She was, you know, only 40, 40 some years. She ahead was there. older. She was older than Luke. 
seem that old <laughs> on the show. Um, that being said, no, I'm talking about by by the time the like the 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 Force Awakens. She was years, older than Luke. Ten years older, maybe she's not. She, she lived. She lived a crazier the, life, she's man. Not decrepit. So, but the point is, you don't know where she. You don't I, know listen, where she's I get, from. I get. I get. I know you want to defend it, and you're not a big Star Wars fan <laughs> as it is. I am, but there's nothing to defend here. It's just listen. It's same old, same old. This is what they're doing. It's just whether it could be the great. I, I could love every single show. I don't give a fuck. I want something new. I, I, mean, I don't care if they give me the I greatest understand. man. It could be the greatest show in the history of TV. Fantastic. I'm still gonna poo poo on it because it's the same old, same old. I want some. That's all I'm trying to say. And then giving is nothing new. And this and John Watts. Oh, five years after Jedi. Oh, great. What else we seen? Five years. Oh yeah, Amanda Lawrence after Jedi. Force Awakens after Jedi. Oh. Oh, 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 great. You know, Andor. Oh, this is the guy had died. We see him die. Oh, hope he did lose this series and no one's going to kill him. Of course not, because he's a rise to Rogue One when he dies. Okay, big mystery. Obi-Wan. Hmm, I hope he gets out of tattoo. Oh, no, he's going to stay in Tatooine. What, what, what's the mystery? Like, what are we doing here? Right? It's, it's just the same. I mean, isn't oh, that the point? To, to find theater. out, like, to see if the story hmm. was worth the story being told? I mean, that's the whole point. Like, we don't know. We literally, everyone thought Listen, I, after... Again, the story, the story, this could be... Obi-Wan, I hope it's the greatest show I've ever seen in my life. I'm still going to say, fuck this bullshit. Where is the new shit? And that's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm just, I get it. We got to get away from this stuff. Star Wars has to grow and branch out. And there's so many stories to I, tell that they have no relation to a Stormtrooper, uh, the Jedi as we know it, any characters that we've seen. The Mandalorian is Boba Fett with a clean armor. That's all he is. It's the same character. So we're drawn to him initially because, oh, look, it's the Boba Fett. That's what it is. And I guess the familiarity with the baby Yoda. Gee. Could have been a baby, any creature. They chose a Yoda for obvious reasons. Can we break out of that mold? That's what I'm saying. It's like there's other characters that we can. They, I thought the I thought they picked needs baby to be Yoda. Be, I thought they picked baby Yoda because technically he's 50 years old, so the child laws don't apply to him. <laughs> maybe not when he's a baby. Uh, so that's <laughs> why I thought it was a big, like a different galaxy, different rules for everybody. <laughs> but, but you know, this is, I, I want to branch off from this. Right, just give me something different, right? And maybe Ken Feige is gonna do it. I don't know. Let's see. Look, I'll, I'll say this. I feel the way you feel, but I'm going to give Star Wars five years to get out of this hole to get to where I want to be because they are trying to save the Star Wars idea. Right now, Mando is carrying all the weight. And they need to show, look, we could do more with other characters and make you feel just like Mando, but for these characters. And once we show you we can do that, then we expand forward new because you've learned how to trust us. Like Kevin, Kevin said this thing in the inter- in the interview where she's like we're all united on a plan moving forward i'm like cool there's a plan now awesome. hey, so she says it only took it 10 years for christ's sake so that's what i'm saying God. i'm okay with what you're doing like semi-familiar adjacent stuff because you need to teach for the next five years you need to have a five-year success plan that's going to get you to be able to do new stuff. They, but you they, have to they, show people to trust they you. Need and that's some. the only reason to but, but, but again, they're having issues with that because with Bubba kind of... Uh, I mean, listen, Obi-Wan could be but, great. I hope Obi-Wan and is great. I feel... I hope it and, is. And, and if it's one thing... If it won't, it's one thing TV Star Wars has done that showed us is that they can immediately look at mistakes and correct it to make going forward. Like, you look at Mando... I feel like Mando is a direct response to what was going on to the movies. While the, 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 the new trilogy yeah. was out... Man, I feel like Mando was a direct, like, that's not what the Star Wars needs to be. And so they started doing, like, what they would do with their version of Star Wars. And, you know, they tried to do Boba, and they realized we need, can't let creators have 100% control on these things because well, they're going to well, well, give us yeah, and the thing is you, neon Vespas, and, think and that, it's going to be a problem. As a creator, yeah, terrible. as a creator, I think, given the... the don't give him character. We've seen Boba Fett, right? We know, whatever. It was Okay, fine. It was cool. I get it. You know, yeah. You can give someone a new character and just let's go with it, right? Give us something. Let's see your take on this brand new character. There's nothing really tie, tying you down with the history or what, where this character needs to end up because or where he began from because it has to fit with the movies and the established lore, the Star Wars. Something fresh. They can do something brand new. And we have no expectations, right? The problem with Boba Fett, we had expectations. I think I think you right? I think you're actually yeah. wrong. We will have expectations because they're so new. Mando was a huge risk. In hindsight, it's not. But as a first TV no, go right. out of Star Wars, it was a huge risk, and they but were trying a, to move a brand, forward. It was a brand new character, right? That's what I'm brand trying new to character, right? That's what I'm saying. Boba Fett was not so right, and so I think it, that's and, and, why and, and, it, and it anchors you down as far as well. I can't. The backstory has to fit 
this. Well, I right? feel like the, the, the thing up, is that with Mando, Boba you Fett, can do whatever you want. Boba Fett was a lesson learned because they thought that it, uh, a competent creator can take Star Wars and make it his own. And you're like, no, the creator has, uh, you're going to get a competent creator who can work within the Star Wars framework. Because if you bring too much of your own stuff, it's not going to feel Star Wars anymore, and then you got a problem. So you got to bring what you... Make you... It, you can still make a Star Wars. Ultimately, it comes down to the characters and the story. But right? Boba Fett didn't feel like Star Wars, which is why they had to fix it halfway through. Because but that was just a bad written show. Let's just be honest. It wasn't a good show for what it was, right? Look, Obi-Wan I, I... could be a great show, better written. We're going to enjoy it. Fine. I think it was. I think I'm sorry. I think the show was written well. I think it was. It was not adequately produced and directed. The because right the first of all, they wrote three episodes for that show. I think let's they be were clear told because to the other half Mando of the show in because was, the show has gone sideways hard. Like we gotta. <laughs> they, they couldn't write the show, and I said, let's just throw in Mando because the season two, season three is coming out. That's exactly what this was. It was. Let's be honest. It is what it is, right? It's, I don't think they said. Okay, I, I disagree. I think it was. Or I unfortunately, I put a lot of the blame on Robert Rodriguez being too much. To like I'm Robert just, Rodriguez yeah, instead I, of like I'm Robert Rodriguez Star all, Wars. Because you could have seen that first episode. I could have told you he shouldn't have been involved in this. Part. Don't do any more. He did. After, but you know what? We were After all one excited episode, to watch this, Mando season this, two because the episode he directed was awesome because it felt and looked like Star well, I, Wars. I get, it, but you know, but you're saying that well, halfway through it sucked. Listen, first episode of get him out of there. He wasn't the guy. Obviously, if, I, if, I if, you give of, I, if you can give it a Lord of Miller after just seeing dailies, trust me, you can give it a this guy's in one full I, episode. I just, think because of contracting they, and they didn't want, they didn't want, they didn't want bad cleaned. because of what happened, Lord of Miller. They didn't want that bad uh, uh, juju out there. So, like, we'll take it and we'll just convert it by going, you can direct sure. all the episodes about Boba Fett. And by the way, they are only going to do three episodes of Boba Fett, and then we're bringing Mando. Or bringing it, Mando yeah, to it goes back to Catherine Kennedy being his bad management. Bad management. If you get sure. something shitty, get rid of it. I don't give a fuck what anybody else says. She thought Dora Miller was shitty. Maybe what Dora Miller was shitty. I don't know. We didn't see a dailies. Fair enough. She didn't replace him anybody good. But fine. At least she made a change, right? Ron Howard is yeah. a good he, director. He, you can't say he didn't replace yeah, him. He was like 50 years ago. He's vanilla. That's exactly what he's I'm He's stolen. competent, but, he's, he, sure. does, he, but he doesn't have a signature. Right. That's what I'm saying. Did someone a safe? And that's fine. But the point is, bad decision, maybe. Decision to leave him on purposefully—that's even—that's even a worse decision. If it ain't working, get rid of it, right? What, doesn't matter what you, you and I say. If we, I'd rather make the change and get the shit and, and get it right because if this is the only show she did was bad. Fair enough. But let's be honest. This is not the first I bad thing you. a Star Wars that you. we've seen before. She was trigger happy eight thousand times in the past. She could have done it yeah. one more time. So yeah. it's just the whole thing was off. But even branch out. I re- and Tyka's movie's coming out, hopefully. Let's see where that goes, whatever. But they did talk about things like The Acolyte, which sounded interesting. Um, going back about 100 years, I think, they mentioned on that. Um, I think you're going to see which the, the beginning of Young Palpatine. But again, 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 right. 100 years is not... Well, I don't know well, I don't know how Palpatine, yeah, Palpatine is. How old he is, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sure that the dark for the dark side maybe. extended his life, the whole thing. I think it's I think maybe, it's, maybe, I think maybe. it's gonna be young Papatine. But, but, but again, but it goes back to what I'm saying. Okay, here we go. Character we know, we know he's gonna end up. Uh, I, I don't understand. Can you go back five hundred years for Christ's sake? Is it does it that hard to go back? I mean, they're doing it in the books. In, in the Christ. books right now, they're literally going back five hundred years to like the Knights of the Old Republic level. I so mean, doing that, yeah. but that's just great. But <clears throat> excuse me, that's not what we're talking. We're talking about the shows and the movies. Go back a thousand years. I, Even Game of I Thrones, you, it had I the think right, is doing it. And they ended shitty as fuck. They're I think in the thousand, next you know, five years, years, in the next five years, you're going to see brand new characters and brand new directions. I, I, I think, think the only thing I would see it is in potentially five years of what it said is true. Because Rogue One, if that comes to fruition, we know. Patty Jenkins, whatever, I don't know, whatever, right? It's on hold. I, but that's still about I, the same I, X Wings, and we get it. Uh, I think it's, Taika it's still and I think Taika and Feige are going to have the brand I'm, new. I'm more confident that Taika doing something completely new because that's what, who he is, right? I don't think he's coming right. in just doing what you know, the, the giving a format. Do this. He's that he does his own thing, right? right? He does it great. So I'm hoping he's the one that gives us something just ridiculous and good and just out of the box 
that's something unique in the Star Wars. We, it's got to be something, a good story to tell that's not related to anything we say. It has to be something, right? It just can't be the same shit. Hey, because even, you know, the, the trilogy was, the, what did it do the trilogy? Go back to Powerful Teen at the end. And All right. Raise so the Skywalker. Oh, my God. Here's 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 a fun little mental exercise, a, a little bit of a pitch, please, if you will. Um, knowing what you know about Tyker, what do you think? You be as vague or specific as you want. His take on Star Wars is going to be because I think I got a take. I'm trying to his sensibilities is leans towards comedy. I'm just of thinking, course. what could he do? That's what I'm saying because. I'm trying not to even think about anything established now. <laughs> I don't. Do you, do, you, do you want to? Do you want to know my take on it? Yeah. It's it is fifty years after the rise of Skywalker. Mm. Fifty. You're not starting okay? out on a good foot, but go ahead. Fifty years after the rise of Skywalker, and there is going to be the uh, like X number year celebration of the the battle on Endor. Okay. From Jedi. From Jedi. And they're going to open up a new wing in the museum in Coruscant. And the, the centerpiece is going to be.